Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Angie here, and if you are new, welcome. I have an exciting Dollar Tree haul for today. So I found a lot of good stuff. I am so excited to show you guys because I have not seen my Dollar Tree carry like this much brand name beauty stuff. It's all beauty. It's like, yeah, you guys are going to see. It is so crazy. So you guys know every time I see one of these Freeman face masks, I always pick them up. I have like every single one that they have uh, came out with. But this is the Renewing Peel Off Gel Mask. It is a cucumber. Um, this one, it says it's for all skin types. So you just apply it on the skin, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes, and then just peel it off. I remember having like one of my very first face masks that... Um, I did with my mom because she used to do face masks all the time when I was little and then she used to do face masks on me and I remember the very first one I ever tried was cucumber and it's a, it was a cucumber peel off mask. I don't know what brand it was but this just brought back memories. I also found this exfoliating uh, gel mask so it has charcoal and black sugar. I feel like I have hauled this before but I'm not sure. I know I've had I've hauled like some of the uh, charcoal ones but this one is a gel mask and a scrub so you just leave it on and then once you wash your face I'm guessing it has sugar in it so it's going to be like little exfoliating once you rinse it off so these all just smell amazing so I grabbed one of those as well. My Dollar Tree finally got these in. These are the Be Pure um, masks and they had a little box display of them. So they had the foot mask. So it has coconut oil. So I picked up two of those and then they also had the um, hair mask and also with coconut oil. So I just love the packaging. These are good little stocking stuffers as well. So you guys, Christmas is coming up. So stock up on your like face masks or anything they i'm gonna show you guys they have a lot of cute stuff for like little stocking stuffers um they also had a hand mask i don't ever do hand masks um but i know they had the hair mask they had the hand one and then they had the foot one so i just picked up the foot and the hair and a dollar 25 you guys be pure i'm telling you guys be pure has been stepping it up like they've had so many good stuff i also finally picked up this hydrating primer serum i this has been a while around for a while and i've always seen these in stores but i had never tried it but lately i've been seeing everyone use these and they say really good things about them um it's infused with rose oil so i'm actually curious to smell it because i love anything that's rose scented i love rose scented perfumes face mask, face oils, face serums, whatever it is. I just love the smell of roses. So I, I don't know. I'm excited to try it because like I said, I've always passed it up and I just decided to finally pick it up because I saw so many people use them. Oh, it does smell good. It smells exactly like roses. And I love how it has a little dropper too. That is so cool. It actually feels very cool and like hydrating so it doesn't I wouldn't use this as a primer I'll probably use this just like um before I apply my primer so I'll probably do the serum and then the primer but it actually dries down really nicely just very refreshing yeah I would just say it's a serum I wouldn't think it's a primer but actually I just, let me take that back because it's very like it's kind of getting a little sticky so I can see why it's a primer because yeah after it dries down it does get a little sticky so let me take that back so I think I am going to try this out but yeah I've heard great things about it if you guys have not given it a chance try it out I also found this is so random you guys but I found this cleansing eyelid wipes and it is so funny because if you guys know me like I don't even have allergies or anything but something about like wearing makeup for a long time and just being out like the oils everything mixing up with my makeup and it always ends up getting inside my eyes and I always have watery watery eyes and so I thought this was like so cool I didn't even know they had I didn't even know these existed eyelid wipes like it literally comes in little individual packets so definitely going to be carrying these in my purse it says non-irritating no rinse formula 
moisturizes and, and soothes as it cleanses and it removes contaminants so yeah sometimes like I'll just be using like my sleeve or like a napkin which is very very harsh on your eyelids so I am excited to try these like I said I didn't even know these existed it says um, it helps remove excessive oil that can build up on the eyelid and may cause irritation that is literally exactly what happens to me so I'm definitely gonna be carrying these in my bag I also found these sassy and chic uh, fashion nail files with a case so it comes with a pack of two they had a bunch of different designs but i picked these ones up these are the pink ones and they have little cherries on them and these are perfect just to carry in your purse i've actually been trying to do like a very small like little emergency bag kit so i usually carry like a chapstick um a nail file because my nails are always breaking i have a hard time growing out my nails like it doesn't matter how many i've taken like nail strengthener vitamins i've taken all kinds of vitamins and they just end up breaking after they get to like a certain length so this is so like look how cute this is and it's like a very nice little nail file with a case because i always just carry mine's my nail files just like th this and they get all really ugly really messed up but it comes with a cute little case so you can build your own little kit put some bobby pins in there put some scrunchies um, I do like nail file, chapsticks, anything that you need, like just all in one place. So that is super cute. I also decided to pick up this ITK. I've been seeing these like on everyone's videos. Everyone has been hauling these. And this is actually, I've heard it's like a really good brand. They sell it, I think, at Target or I don't know, but they, um, it's the brand in the know. So ITK. And it has SPF 30 sunscreen. It's a setting mist. I didn't really know how to feel about this at first because I heard people say like it has a really, really strong scent. But look, this retails for like so much more at the store. But so I just wanted to give it a try. I'm actually curious to try it right now. So the scent is actually not bad. It smells just like sunscreen. I can see why you probably don't want to get it in your eyes because it would burn. I feel like it would burn. That's what I read in a lot of the comments. But as far as like just like I just sprayed it like on this lower half of my face and it feels really nice. It doesn't feel like sticky or oily. I have been actually looking for an SPF uh, setting spray. And at my last video, I hauled the Elf World Glow, which is... Um, an SPF and a primer so I was excited to try that which I love it I use it every day but I also wanted to just top it off with a sunscreen um, like setting mist and yeah I definitely am glad that I tried this out also in the beauty section you guys this prideful brand has been like popping off in my Dollar Tree and they have all kinds of stuff just a bunch of prideful um, I don't even know where they sell this brand but everything is like super high quality this one was a cosmetic bag, so it actually comes with three of them. It comes with this large one, and it comes with a medium size and a smaller size. So I actually want to open this up if I can find some scissors to open it up. Probably should not be using my teeth, but... Why well, should I break the tooth on camera? <laughs> Yeah, don't use your teeth. Don't ever use your teeth. My dentist would be so mad at me if he saw me do that. But it comes with a larger size bag. Oh my gosh, this has like double, <laughs> double the little plastic things. Okay, I'm gonna need to go grab some scissors because yeah, there you go. I just I just ripped it open. Probably you shouldn't do that. I don't want to break it. But I thought it was so cool for traveling. You can just put all your makeup in here and see it comes with this little smaller bag and it also says prideful on it and then it comes with this medium sized bag as well so it comes three in one and a dollar 25. they these got it these flew i'm telling you like these went off the shelf they like flew off the shelf because I bought this and then I went back the next day and they were literally all gone. So if you guys come across these, pick them up. It's such a good deal. I also found this prideful 
Um, I think it's a lip gloss. So it says full color lip gloss wand. Um, and this is in the color Carmella or Carm yeah, Carmella. And I've seen other people haul different colors, which are super gorgeous. I've seen people swatch them and they are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But so far I've been to three different Dollar Trees and this is the only color that they have. Like all three of them literally have just one color. I didn't even know there was other colors out there until I started seeing people haul it. But this actually looks like a very neutral color. Um, it's like... Okay, you guys did not see that. <laughs> okay, so this actually is a very beautiful, like, pinky nude. It's like a peachy nude. Oh, this is gorgeous, you guys. This is, like, very, very pretty pink neutral color. This is a lip gloss, so it's going to dry glossy. But that is definitely, like, an everyday beautiful beautiful color so i would definitely recommend that if you guys come across let me know if you guys find other colors because i really really want to haul other colors so they also had from the prideful brand this spf 15 lip balm and this is what it looks like the packaging looks super high end you guys like all these products you can tell are really good quality i don't know if they're sold i don't think they're dollar tree products but i don't i'm not sure where they're sold um, but I have not seen this brand before, but I could just tell it's not Dollar Tree because it's very, very high end. Like the packaging is like very, very good. And this is what it looks like. It just has a clear cap. Honestly, it doesn't smell like anything. It's just a clear SPF. It has a little tint, a little hint of like SPF smell, but nothing wrong with that. The next thing I found is this Prideful um six piece lip gloss collection look at this it comes with six different lip glosses like this whole pack for a dollar 25 a dollar 25 i don't know the quality of them i hope it's nice so let's open them up and try them out all different colors but I'm excited I was like a six pack of lip glosses what and these are full size lip glosses like not just one it comes with literally the whole pack and I can I can smell them just by opening up the package and they smell like skittles they literally smell like all kinds of like tropical scents these these are delicious Ooh, so they actually have they look like little jelly lip glosses so this is what it looks like right here they actually have like a little tint to them and this one just smells so good they all smell very tropical let me try the orange one out i didn't even think they were going to have a little tint to them these smell amazing. They literally smell like Skittles. These are beautiful. They are so pretty. They're like jelly lip glosses. And they smell amazing. They smell like Skittles. And you get a whole pack of six of them for $1.25. Like, these, this is such a good deal. Pick them up, you guys. I actually have not seen anyone else haul these. I've watched other people's Dollar Tree hauls. And I know like all different Dollar Trees get different stuff, but I have not seen anyone haul these and my Dollar Tree has a ton of them. You know you guys, okay, let me get off topic, off topic for a little bit, but sometimes I wish like we could just start a club and then just like interchange stuff. Is there something like that? Do you guys know about something like that, like a Dollar Tree club? Because I know like I see other people haul stuff and I'm just like super jealous. I'm like, I wish my Dollar Tree had that. And then I've been told like people that their Dollar Trees don't have certain stuff that I find. So like, let me know if you guys want to know, like do something like that, if you guys know of something like that, where you can just like interchange stuff, like have a little group chat, a little what's up or something. And then that would be such a good idea. Like, that would be amazing. Okay, so the last item I found from the Prideful brand is this 
eyeshadow palette like tell me this is not gorgeous and it has like literally a bunch of neutral colors it has mattes and it has glitter so it has a little bit of everything and this palette looks like a color pop palette like it's i can already tell just by looking at it the pigmentation on this is going to be insane and this is another one of those items that i have not seen anyone haul and i was so curious to see people sometimes i like to watch videos of what other people haul just so i can like see their first impressions and they can swatch them out um to see if it's worth getting or not but this like the quality of it you guys this is a close-up all those beautiful shades so i do want to swatch them out i'm gonna do just that rose color that rose gold very very buttery and yeah they're just so buttery soft super pigmented and i'm just trying out the glitters um these are the first three shades like tell me those are not gorgeous literally this is an everyday palette so pretty let me show you guys what else i found so i found la color has this new makeup line and it's just a bunch of different lip glosses like a bunch of glitter a bunch of like glossy stuff i think it's called like shimmer it's like their shimmer collection glitter collection i'm not sure what it's called but let me show you guys everything that's in the collection i did not pick every single color up because i yeah it was way too many stuff but i try to pick up a little bit of everything just so i can try them out so they have these soft glaze sheer lip balms and i got these two shades right here this is in the color Sweet Talk, and this is in the color Crush On You. So I want to swatch them out because they are, yeah, they're supposed to be a sheer lip balm. So it's supposed to have a little tint on it, but not like super pigmented. So you can just wear this over a lipstick. So I'm just going to swatch. Should I swatch both of them? I feel like this, one, this video is going to be super long if I swatch every single thing because I got a lot of makeup items. But... Mmm, it smells good. Wow. That was literally just one swipe and that is amazing. This is like, wow. I am amazed. Like LA Color, LA Color's coming through you guys. LA Color stepping up their game. They're like, we're not trying to get behind. These... This one is in the color Sweet Talk. I feel like this one's going to be very pretty as well. I just try to pick up the colors that, yeah. I try to pick up the colors that I would wear every day. And that is this one right here. These are gorgeous. Like, if you guys come across these, like, definitely, definitely pick them up. I know I've been saying that for every single item here, but I feel like every single item that I've gotten so far is definitely a score 10 out of 10 um, they also had these shimmer jelly lip glosses and so this one has like a different application um, these ones do have a little bit of shimmer in it so this one is in the shade lustrous this one is in the shade juiciness and this one is in the shade luminizer and like I said they had they had different shades. I think they had like five different shades for every product, but I just picked up the ones that I thought would I would wear the most. Um, and we're gonna start off with juiciness. So this one is actually a little wand applicator, and that again super gorgeous this one's definitely like a little bubblegum pink super super cute i feel like the, these ones are not as pigmented as the um 
the jelly lip glosses those ones like i think i should go back and get other shades because i was really obsessed with the consistency of it just like the colors everything about it this one i feel like you would have to kind of layer on a little bit more um but they're still very very pretty colors this one is in the shade luminizer again all these are like you know sometimes they'd be having crazy colors but no these are all like colors that you can wear any day every day all day every day but this one oh, i keep tossing the package you guys this one is in the shade lustrous i feel like this one again another color that you can wear every day super gorgeous super super beautiful very very pretty for a dollar 25 yep you definitely pick those up so they also have just the regular um lipsticks this is the nude glam lipstick so this is the shade so iconic honestly in the packaging they all look the same like i they probably have like a little tiny tiny bit of difference but they're all browns they're all nudes this one is in the shade surreal so it was really hard to pick them up, but this one is in the shade Oteddy. And they had some other shades that were a little darker, like a chocolatey brown, like a coffee brown. But I decided to get these ones. So we're going to start off with Oteddy. You guys, I should probably have a garbage can when I do these hauls because I just throw everything on the ground and it looks like a freaking tornado just came by because, yeah, I'm just tossing garbage everywhere. But I should probably, it would be a good idea to just carry a little bit baggy there a little trash can and this is so pretty oh they smell like toasted almonds like they smell like chocolate like cookies like oh it has a very very pleasant scent to it i am amazed but this one is in the shade o teddy and it's just like a very gorgeous like this actually reminds me of teddy by mac that's the vibes it's giving me i think that's why it's probably called oh teddy because they're trying to make a dupe for it but that one is so pretty and with these shades usually like it's a hit or miss when there's nudes if they're too light for me i usually just like to line my lips with a darker uh lip liner and then the lighter one just go in and then when they're too dark i can just light them up lighten them up with a little bit of concealer so don't toss your lipsticks away you guys you can do different lip combos but this one is in the shade so iconic and i can't get over the smell the smell is so good it's like look at the shade so iconic right here very pretty like all these i feel like i should have gotten every single shade now because I have not had a single shade that I did not like. These are all so pretty. And this one is in the shade Surreal. So this one looks like it's going to be a little darker. A little darker brown. Ooh, this is definitely like a chestnut. This one up here. Tell me these are not like everyday shades. And the consistency, they're so creamy. Like, they're not drying at all. I feel like it's a satin finish. Um, sometimes, like, with lip gloss or lipsticks that you find at Dollar Tree, they can be a little drying. Um, but these ones and the packaging, I love how just the packaging is pink. Very, very cute. So, that was it for the lipsticks. But wait, there's more. So, there's actually um, blushes. And there's highlighters and there's bronzers and these are liquid so this is a blush they had I believe two other shades but I picked this one in the shade allure and it just looks like it's a very um, nice pink Oof. smells like icing on a cake but look at that just 
put a little couple dots on the cheek and then just blend it out super gorgeous color bronze babe so this one is actually a bronzer they only had one shade i believe for this one um but i feel like even if you go even if you use a little bit or you can build it up just depending on how bronzy you want to look but i actually have the bronzer um that i hauled for my elf video the one i posted last week that one is actually very similar to that color and i just i cannot get over these scents and then i also got the highlighter in the shade outshine so they did have two different shades for the highlighters they had more of a rosy one and they also had more of a bronzed one but i just went with this um kind of like a champagne color and Hmm. Okay, this one's a little patchy. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's a little patchy and it's very, very light. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. But actually, it's like very freaking blinding. It's like very white. So I don't know if I would use this as a highlighter, but I can use it on my inner corners. So for the eyes, they had these liquid eyeshadows and these honestly... They remind me of some high-end eyeshadows. This is in the color Sugar, and this is in the color Pretty Poppin'. It's more of a little bronze color. They had different shades of these as well, but I do have a couple of liquid eyeshadows, so I didn't want to grab anything that was too similar. So these were some shades that I don't have. So that one is in the color Pretty Poppin'. And gorgeous 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 like the pigmentation on these i don't know what la color is doing i don't know how they're making these but yeah it's like they're dropping all these new collections back to back and they are all freaking gorgeous like their color range is so good um this one is in the color sugar So pretty so so pretty this one is sugar right here they they're amazing 10 out of 10 and they also had this one in toasty Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Toasty right here. Like just a look how shimmery and just blinding these eyeshadows are. So cute. And then finally they had these shimmer eye pencils. So I grabbed the black. It's called Twinkling Black, and then brown, which is just called Majestic. And like I said, they had a different shades. I they actually had a silver and a gold that I was really, really, really tempted to get. But I just know that I won't ever use them. So um, I just picked up the color black. So this one, it's supposed to have shimmers in it, but it just honestly looks like a black eyeliner. I don't see any shimmers at all just it's just a black eyeliner kind of disappointing i thought they were going to be super cute and shimmery um but let's try out the brown and see if that one has any shimmer nope i mean it's kind of it looks a little metallic-y a little metallic-y but it's not it's not a big difference so i would probably skip out on the pencils the eye pencils are still really creamy very good formula they swatched really really nicely um but they they're not giving shimmer so everything else 10 out of 10 if you guys come across them pick them up 
I always tell you guys, pick them up. I'm such a bad influence. I'm like that friend that always tells you, like, yeah, buy it, buy it, buy it. <laughs> Even though we're supposed to be saving money. So that was all the makeup items that I found. And just a couple a little more random items. I found this pumpkin spice scent linen and room spray. It's sweet, warm, and spicy. So this actually sprayed it while I was out there. Because I wanted to make sure that... First of all, the spray worked because I've gotten somewhere the spray does not work. It smells amazing. It smells like Thanksgiving. It smells so good. It smells like pumpkin pie. Like, really, really good. I wish they had other scents because this is actually very, um, very good quality and has essential oils in it. So, it smells really, really nicely. I also picked up this Jelly Belly Air Refresher for my car. It's supposed to smell like bubble gum and literally looks like a jelly belly they had different colors and different scents as well but obviously i had to go with pink and this is so random you guys but i found this um adaptogen plus lean it's to lose weight it has green coffee i've heard green coffee is really good for if you're trying to lose weight but it's um basically like in the pill formula let me know if you guys have tried these out i actually looked them up and these are like kind of pricey they sell them at walmart um this brand purely inspired but it says it has magnesium elder belly it's supposed to have 200 milligrams of green coffee it's america's number one fastest growing supplement brand so i'm kind of curious to try this out and see what it's all about but it has all these amazing benefits so we'll go ahead and see it's supposed to give you energy it's supposed to um help you lose weight so i'm actually excited to try this mm, if it was dollar tree brand i probably would not try it i probably would be kind of skeptical but this one is not i looked it up and they sell it at other places i actually have it on amazon as well but this is what it looks like and this one actually yeah, expi expires february 9th 2024 so i need to start taking these asap because it has um 60 capsules and you have to take two a day so yeah i should probably start taking these let me know if you guys have tried these out let me know if they work let me know if they're trash <laughs> but that is it you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time bye